beautiful people. For this week's video, I'm going to be doing a spring haul with outfits all under $50, if not under $55. So super cheap and affordable. If you guys have been reading my blogs lately, I've been doing a lot of spring fashion blogs, but I wanted to make a video where I can try on the clothes for you guys so you can see what they look like on. All these clothes are from this store called No Rest for Bridget, and I've talked about them a lot on my blog, but I love them. Their clothes are super affordable and really cute. They have new arrivals every week. Oh, and before I start too, if you guys like anything from this video, it's all going to be linked down below for you, and you can use the code SPRING10 for 10% off all these pieces. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm just going to start with dresses and jumpsuits because they're on the top of my pile. And you need tons of dresses for spring, so I figured why not. This is the first dress from No Rest for Bridget. It's a polka dot wrap dress with little ruffles on the sleeves and on the neckline. And then it wraps and ties right here. I love anything black and white polka dot. And I thought that this would go perfectly with a pair of colored heels, maybe like red heels or yellow. And even a headband or a ribbon. I've been loving hair ribbons, and so I'm going to link my hair ribbon down below for you guys a lot of you guys have been asking about those too but I think any color ribbon maybe red orange or yellow would be really cute with this and you could pair it with a denim jacket too if it's still cold where you live okay next this is one of my favorite things recently from no rest for Bridget it's a striped jumpsuit with flare bottoms because a lot of jumpsuits um, kind of cinch at the ankles but this one has flared legs all the way down and then it has a little ribbon right here to tie in around your waistline to kind of give you some shape and I think that this is so pretty Pretty. Vertical stripes are so flattering and they're very in right now and since it's black and white kind of like the polka dot dress before you can pair it with um, like a bold colored purse or shoes or ribbon and I think that it's just very perfect for spring. Okay next another jumpsuit. This one is like navy blue and kind of a taupe colored stripes and this one has buttons all the way down the front with big pockets and it also has a ribbon to tie around the waist to give you some shape like the striped one that I showed you before and this one also has wide legs all the way down but this one kind of crops a little bit higher up so it's like an ankle crop and I'm just a big advocate for jumpers and rompers in general because it's literally a one hit wonder you need one item and you have an entire outfit and it's not just like a basic average outfit it's a very cute outfit when you wear a jumper or a romper so I'm all for these okay next dress from the rest for Bridget is another wrap dress but this one's long sleeve with bell sleeves and black and white thin little pinstripes on it so this is the wrap dress once it's on and I'm holding it because the V is just a little bit too deep for me. I'm probably gonna have to pin it or just wear like a bralette or something with it. But other than that, it fits really well. It's cute with the cinched bow and the bell sleeves and the little pin stripes. Okay, and so the next trend that I really like are like flowy linen pants. And every time that I try and write about these on my blog, it has the red underline under the word flowy, and it tries to tell me that flowy isn't a word. But I would beg to differ that flowy is a word. Right? Like these pants are flowy pants. Tell me I'm wrong. These are flowy pants. But apparently flowy is not a word. So you guys should let me know in the comments if you think that flowy is a word or not. Because I definitely think it's a word. So I'm going to describe these as flowy pants. These are so cute. And I'm so happy that these types of pants are in style. They have a cinched waist and then a front tie. So like a big bow in the front. And I love me some bows. And I love me some red too. They're like ankle length. And they have a little fold at the bottom of the pant. Okay, now that I've tried these on, these pants are literally my favorite pants ever. I feel like a little candy cane right now and I am loving it. I really need to get better at my bow tying abilities but look at the pockets and the cute little stripes. These pants are so special. I have another pant style as well. These ones are a little bit different than the other ones. They're a different material. I don't know what material these are. Oh, these are just cotton. So they're cotton pants and these ones have big pockets in the front and a big button and a smaller bow. And they're kind of looser all the way down. They don't cinch at the ankles, but they have this cute little fray. And they have pockets on the butt with buttons. So cute. And these are just so comfortable. They're so springy and special. So both of these pants, you can pair with like any white top. Oh, I think I have a white top. Yeah, okay, so I got a white top from them too. And it's a little wrinkly, but it's so soft. Whatever material this is, it's like the softest crop little tee. I think it'd be perfect to pair with either one of these pants. And so I think that this would just be like the perfect spring little outfit. Oh, and I forgot I have one more dress. I already moved on to the pants, but I have another 
another dress. This is just like a basic white little fit and flare dress with a cute little pattern on it and a cinched waist and a high like halter neckline. This is a very basic dress, but I thought that this would be pretty for like bridal showers. Actually not bridal showers because you can't wear white to a bridal shower. You watch you show up to a bridal shower wearing white and you're like, but Maddie told me to. Oh, that'd be terrible. Okay, don't wear this to a bridal shower. But you can wear it to like a baby shower or a graduation or anything like that. If you don't have just like a basic white dress already, this would be a good choice because everyone needs one in their wardrobe, let's be real. Okay, now moving on from the dresses for real this time. I got this white shirt from them, and this is second to the striped romper, my favorite thing that I got from them. It's um, just a very light material, and it's so loose. It has big puffy sleeves and a front tie. And this just reminded me of something that you would get from Free People or something like that. It's just very like boho style. And so I just thought that it's so pretty and light for spring. You can wear like a colored bralette under it to make it a little bit more fancy or um, maybe a big statement necklace or earrings. And you can also pair it with one of these two jeans. So I just got these jeans from them as well and I think that either one would be perfect to pair with this. But these are their boyfriend jeans. I forget what exactly they're called, but I'll link them below. Um, but these are just black denim, which is one of my favorite brands of denim ever. It's so comfortable and stretchy. And so these are like capris with little cuffed ankles. And I would actually recommend like if you're between sizes, um, going down a size. So I'm always either a 26 or a 26 and so I got these in a 26 because they're really stretchy and, and then I also got these jeans from them and these are the brand flying monkey and these are actually the first jeans that I've gotten from that brand but I'm really happy with them just like the just black denim they're really stretchy and comfortable and I liked these because they have like a cropped I don't know if you can see this against my shirt but they have like a cropped end and so they're capri style with like a little boot cut flare the flare cropped denim have been really in style lately and so these aren't like totally flare, but they have a little bit of flare to them, so I liked it a lot. And same thing with the sizing too, size down if you're between sizes because they are really stretchy. Okay, and now for the accessory portion, this bag. Do I even need to say anything else about this bag? This bag says spring all over it and it makes me so happy. It's just so special and cute. It has a fake leather strap, so it's kind of a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. And then it's just this like basket material, but it's white with a little bow on top that you unhook and then it opens up into this bag. I saw this and I almost like shed a tear. And this might be sold out online because they do sell out all the time but have no fear because no rest for Bridget has new arrivals every single week and they've been having tons of these circle um, basket bags and then next is a pair of shoes and I wrote about these in my blog post yesterday but I wanted to show you guys again because these are just like the cutest shoes ever they're slip on and they have a little open part right here they're really really comfortable and I think that these would go cute with any of the jumpsuits that I showed you or just anytime that you need a black flat these are perfect okay next are some sunglasses. One of the things that I love about No Rest for Bridget, another thing, is that they always have the cutest sunglasses that kind of replicate like very expensive sunglasses brands. So these sunglasses, when I saw them, I immediately thought of like Quay Australia. Ooh, work. They're very big, they're like square kind of cat eye style with a tortoise shell print and then the lenses are just black and I thought that these were really cute. They make you like feel like 10 times cooler than you actually are and then next these circular sunglasses that are just like the Ray-Ban circular sunglasses I love these because I just love the circle style I know it doesn't work for everyone but I think that they're very very cute these are my go-to I've worn them in like a lot of pictures so far and then my last pair of sunglasses, I actually did a poll on Instagram about these the other day. I think it was like 80% of you said that you liked them. I was a little unsure. I think Kylie Jenner started the trend with these, but they're like major 90s style mom sunglasses. And I think that these are really cute, but I just think that you need to be very particular about what you wear them with. Like with this outfit, this is too girly, I think, to go with these. I think you need like an edgy kind of look to go with them. But I think if you have the look to match, then they are really cute. Cute. And that's all for this spring haul. I really hope that you guys were inspired by some of the pieces. Remember, if you want to shop anything, the links are below and you can use code SPRING10 for 10% off. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications,
recommendations and please 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 leave a comment letting me know what you guys want to see next on this channel and so yeah i hope that you guys all have a great easter tomorrow and amazing rest of your day bye